so let's talk about let's I, I guess we'll deal with it seriously all right let's let's deal with it seriously first uh dylan roof uh he is if you uh follow the news and haven't been living underneath a uh brick or a rock somewhere you know dylan roof is the um the confessed killer of the um i believe nine uh, parishioners of Mother Emmanuel Baptist Church in um, in Carol in the Carolinas. Um, he has not stood trial yet, and he is in uh, uh, custody, being held until uh, his sh actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's being held underneath protective custody within the prison that he's being held in. And so he has pr a protective guard that follows him everywhere. A guard when he goes to the shower, uh, his his cell is always locked for his protection because, you know, for sure, some of the people in prison knew and know some of the people who were killed and went to that church. And so um, they have to protect him because otherwise he probably would be dead already. Uh, well, it turns out that uh, it uh, it turns out that uh, they turned their back for a fleeting moment. Why is this not working? Oh, there we go. They the police officers turned their back for a moment, and um, and there you have it. Gave an opportunity for one another inmate to run down the stairs into Dylan Roof's cell and um, just straight molly whopped him. I mean. Uh, bruises on his face, bruises on his back. No weapon was used, and um, and so there you go. Uh, he's still alive. They're not pressing charges. So um, Dylan Roof got uh, beat down today, and no, you know I don't condone uh, violence, but I'm not going to condemn this whatsoever. Not at all. Um, all things considered. Uh, he, you know, maybe that's why they're not going to press charges because all things considered, um, it could have been, it could have been significantly worse in that very short window. Uh, let's talk about the other, um, other guy. I think this other guy, um, uh, is, it's, it's going to sound weird, but when I tell you the story, you'll understand why this Cretan is one that I despise. Um, this is one person that I would love to just have a few minutes with just a few minutes. Um, just to talk, just to talk, R literally, just to talk to him. George Zimmerman uh, went into a diner today, and the, it's, the story is actually kind of funny because we would hope that he got knocked out by, um, by a black parishioner, uh, not parishioner, but like a, by a black patron. But the reality of it is, is uh, George Zimmerman went up to someone who was dining there, uh, and the uh, news, the report re describes the gentleman as a big um, white man who mistook uh, George Zimmerman for someone else and allegedly referred to George Zimmerman as a N-word in lover. So before George Zimmerman got accosted, um, he approached this man to tell him that he liked his tattoos according to George Zimmerman's story. And, but according to other people in the restaurant, George Zimmerman introduced himself to the, uh, to the diner, to the person who was eating dinner as, don't you know me? I'm George Zimmerman, the guy who killed Trayvon Martin. Apparently the man eating dinner was drunk. The, uh, the man eating dinner was white. The man eating dinner was racist. And he was so drunk that he did not understand what George Zimmerman was saying and apparently turned around and um, hit George Zimmerman. You got knocked the fuck out. Um, <laughs> so not only did he get um, knocked the hell out, but he got knocked the hell out by a racist. So it's almost like a two for it's a two for one special. Uh, a racist is going to get arrested for assault more than likely and the person he assaulted was a racist and the reason the racist assaulted the racist was because he was too drunk to realize that this is probably a guy that you would normally be in league with so dumb hit dumber and uh, the result is um, a very happy birthday for President Obama yeah that's all I have to say about that the payback's a motherfucker ain't it nigga <laughs> 
I'm sorry, y'all. I just, it's, it's, it is, like I said, you got to celebrate the little things. <laughs> you got to celebrate the little things. Um, and I absolutely, with George Zimmerman, I have absolutely no qualm, no hesitation to celebrate someone who will run around bragging, and let me cut my camera back on, going around bragging about uh, killing a teenager and selling his gun at an auction for $250,000, I would not hesitate for one second to laugh in that son of a son of something's face every time he gets hit, every time he gets arrested, every time something goes wrong in his life. I'm, I'm actually, I don't wish ill on anybody probably but George Zimmerman. I, I hope he does not pay his taxes on the $250,000 he got for selling that gun so the, the IRS can just stay on his ass for the rest of his life. I, I mean, I hope every single day a person like George Zimmerman has to hide and cower in fear because anyone who thinks that it's a prize and a trophy to run around and say that I am the person who killed Trayvon Martin deserves to live in perpetual fear the rest of his life and you know he's a small man with a big ego and a big uh, 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 fear complex he's a small Napoleon complex man uh, so you know you know that one thing he's avoiding today is he's probably not on Twitter because everybody around the world is celebrating the fact that George Zimmerman got knocked what you got knocked the fuck out man <laughs> and all of this on President Obama's birthday this is by far the blackest day of the year. <laughs> this is this is the most Afrocentric day of the year. Not not for any not for any distinguished reason. Not for any intellectual and any great insight. Yeah, no great insight. Nothing philosophical. Nothing deep. Other than the fact that two of the greatest villains in black uh, in recent black history um, both got their asses handed to them, both on the black first black president's birthday it doesn't mean anything in the bigger scheme of things um but it does mean it's a very black day uh, I'm black, and I'm black, and I'm than black and I'm black, anyway all right caller you're live on the air